Audra with R5 Hauling and Junk Removal here. This is my second video. I am headed about two hours away in Maryland in a little while to um, go and pick up a mattress from a load up job. So <clears throat> I just went and got my truck washed because with all the snow we had, it was all salty and filthy. So let me share a little bit about why I got into the junk removal business. I was a homemaker for about the past 16 years pulled my daughter out to homeschool her after she was being bullied and then realized how much my kids weren't learning so pulled my son out homeschooled them all the way through high school tried to get a job um, just recently to go back into higher education because that's where my master's degree is in and because I've been out of the market so long didn't really get any nibbles and you know um, wasn't really looking for junk removal my husband and I were looking to figure out how to drive a trailer because we were going to haul our wood splitter to my mother-in-law's house to um, to do to split some wood for her. And but I was just like, we don't really know how to drive with the trailer, how to back it up and all that. So let's just put it in the truck. And to get into the truck with the ramps was a bitch. <laughs> but when we were looking for videos, it was like how to make a thousand dollars a day with your pickup truck. And I've had this pickup truck. It's a 2005. I've had it since 2009, so it's 19 years old. And I was like, hmm. And I had done a couple of junk removal jobs like way back when, just to see, you know, because I was like, I'm good at it. Let me do it. I made like 60 bucks, 100 bucks, but my husband was like, I don't really want you doing that. Then when we saw how to make a thousand dollars a day with your pickup truck, we started coming across all these videos, and everybody mentions Sonoma Strong Hauling. Yes, they're one of the big ones out there that do junk hauling. So I started watching all these videos and saw that I could do this and I love to clean. It's a blessing and a curse. And I was like, I could do this. So we put everything in place and um, you know, got my LLC, the name changed over and all that. Um, that's a whole nother story. But, and you know, and off I went and we, um, we bought a trailer um, in December. But anyway, I'll get to that. The uh, first things I did was sign up for Load Up and Go Share. I signed up for both in November of 2023. I just got approved for Go Share a week ago. And yes, this is January 2024. So it took two months. And Go Share really hasn't even been worth it so far. All the jobs are like 20 bucks, 30 bucks to go these long distances, to go like 40, 50, 80 miles in a pickup truck. 30 bucks isn't even going to cover a tank of gas. So I haven't taken anything from Go Share. Load up, my first job was in December. Um, in Baltimore, it was a couple of mattresses and a box spring, and I did it with just the pickup truck. It was like 70 bucks. So I did it because I figured I'm driving with my magnets on my truck that have my name, R5 hauling and junk removal, so that's billboard time, right? And whoever this is that I'm picking up from can, I can give them a card. So that job, when I got there, the app was so glitchy, so glitchy. Like it took me four times of closing the app and reopening it so that he could sign off on it and, and I could load up the pictures. And my phone is brand new, so I know it wasn't my phone. So when I spoke to load up, they're like, oh yeah, it's the, it's the app, it's glitchy. But it took me over an hour to close the, the order because the app wasn't working. And guess what? They time you. They give you points based on how long you take to do the order. So, of course, you're going to get dinged, right? Okay, so here's the other thing. When you sign up for Load Up, they give you 100 points for free. And each job, a lot of them cost points. The more money the job is for, the more points you have to have to get the job. Um, the mattress job that I did, I used 60 of the 100 points for that Baltimore job, and then I earned um, some back. So then, fast forward, I had two jobs scheduled a uh, day before yesterday. One of them canceled, so that was the one that took all of my points that I had. When I talked to Load Up, they said, we don't have a policy for giving back points. If they're gone, they're just gone. Um, but, you know, the amount of times that a customer will cancel on you is, is very minimal to the amount of jobs that you'll actually, you know, get the customer. So I was like, but this, that's not fair. My points are gone and, um, you know, I can't get them back. So they were, they were like, well, subscription customers, you know, it's not really an issue. 
subscription customers. So here's the thing with Load Up. In order to get points, there's a $70, I think, a month option, which doesn't give you very many points at all. And basically, when I spoke to Load Up, they said, well, that's for people who have been with Load Up for a long time, and they have, um, they have a lot of points to use, and they just want to be able to get the Connect jobs. The Connect jobs are jobs where you, co you collect payment directly from the customer. Standard jobs is where you submit an invoice to Load Up, and Load Up pays you once a week. If you want points, like actual be able to actually get points to get jobs that level of subscription is $250 a month and then there's another level beyond like that like the highest level is $10,000 a month yes to get points y'all if I have $10,000 a month to give to somebody I'm not going to pay a service for clients that's just me but I was just like your app is completely glitchy. You've acknowledged that your app is completely glitchy, that you did this upgrade and you have a whole bunch of bugs and you're trying to work them out. Why would I pay you $250 a month when your app isn't even working? So fast forward to this morning, right? This job. I forget where it is, but it's like an hour and 40 minutes, 48 minutes away. Yesterday, when I went to go accept it, the app spun and spun and spun. So I had to close the app and open it back up. And when I opened it back up, the job was gone. It wasn't in my upcoming orders. It wasn't in the available orders, nothing. So I was like, okay, well, it was a, almost two hours away anyway. Only $96. It would have just been really me just doing it for the exposure, whatever. So I was done, all right? Thankfully, I'm up early in the morning. I get this notification on my phone, load up, sends this text. Here is the line of communication that we've opened for you, for your, uh, for you and your customer for the job today. What job? Yeah, that job. So thankfully, since I'm up early, I, you know, got myself up, got showered, got dressed, took my truck out to go get it washed. Like I said, there was snow and salt all over it. Um, <clears throat> and so I'll be going out today to get this, um, get this mattress. Um... The other job that I had a couple days ago, the one that didn't cancel, this woman thought that she would get a refund from me or from Load Up for picking up the mattress. And I was like, why would we do that? Because you're paying for the service. You know, and I was just like, you know, I was trying to hammer it out. I ended up, because that was over an hour away too, I ended up calling Load Up and told her I would call her back. Well, apparently Load Up does um, delivery for a lot of companies when people order stuff. And so if something has to go back, Load Up has to pick it up and that we have to post a picture of it on our truck to prove that, you know, the customer returned the item. Then what we do with the item after that is up to us. Now, that's the only good thing that has happened so far. This woman bought two uh, convertible cribs, three in one, goes from mini crib to crib to toddler bed. Um, she bought two of them by mistake, so she had to, the company had to take one back. But of course, Load Up says the company can't resell them because of COVID, because it's a mattress. So, um, she was like, when you pick it up, you can donate it, it's up to you, whatever, but we just need the proof that it's been taken from her so that the company will give her her money back. Okay, so that's the only good thing that has happened is that this mattress, which if you look at my first video that I did, it was me and my son hauling this mattress away. Well, that mattress retails for $749. So, I am selling it for $375, and I have somebody who's coming by on Sunday to get it. So that's the only good thing is that even though that, that job was only 58 bucks. I'm going to make $375 profit. That's going to go in my truck for, uh, it's going to go in my savings fund for my dump truck that I'm hoping to get by the summer. So that's the first part of this video and I'll take some video of us driving there and going to get the mattress. So stay tuned.
says you have to have a helper with every job. Mine's sleeping on a job. Wake up, boy! Why are you sleeping on the job? And yes, this is gonna go on YouTube. <laughs> How you doing? Say hi to everybody. Uh... This is my son, Aaron. Mm -hmm. He is my helper on the job. Yes, it is. Bye-bye. <laughs>